Hey everybody, this is Todd. Today we're going to be going over some tactical training for the abortion mills. So the escorts at the abortion mills need to be trained. That's right. And due to budget cuts, we're going to combine two exactly similar classes, okay? Escorting at abortion mills and church parking lot ministry. Same exact thing. Same training, so we'll just combine the two. So today we're going to be going over such things as how to deal with an abolitionist, how to keep them at arm's distance. We'll talk about how to lie to them effectively. Works great for the church and for the abortion mill. Same, same thing, right? Okay, well, I'm not saying their church and abortion mill is the same thing. I'm saying the training is the same, all right? So here's what you do. When you see an abolitionist, you make sure you get somebody out there, all right? You don't want people talking to the to the women coming in, getting their free services, right? You don't want that. That's how you make your money. You make money. Am I talking about the church or the abortion mill? It doesn't matter. Same thing, right? People are going into church. They're going to give you money, all right? You don't want them upset. I mean, they're growing fat in the day of slaughter, right? You don't want them thinking about, like, should we give our money to help end abortion? It's crazy, right? No. Get them in. So you get them in by getting a church parking lot escort out there and you try to get yourself in between your patron, your 10 percenter and your and your abolitionist. Right. So you get in between them and you wave them on like this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but you wave them on. You know, uh, churches use uh, ex cops, you know, retired cops, old cops, you know. But if you don't have a cop and he doesn't have this down, you can send him to our school and we'll, we'll train him, you know? And then if they, if they start talking, if like for some reason, like somebody walks up and talks, just do, do the uh, friend thing, right? You walk in, you just put your shoulder around your patron and you go, hey, come on, let's go into church. Come on, don't talk to this guy. You know, and you, and you just walk him right into church. It works like 99% of the time, right? And, and, and your patron feels like hugged and loved on even before he gets on the property. All right, so it's like, you can't lose, right? I mean, there's other ways to do it that are wrong. Don't do that. Like, don't act like you're all mad at the abolitionist. Just kind of act like he's crazy, right? This guy's whacked out. Like, like, they actually believe that every human is created in the image of God, right? And that God actually created them for his pleasure. <laughs> well, those abolitionists never met my ex-wife, that's for sure. <laughs> so, anyway. So are we talking about the church or are we talking about the abortion mill? It doesn't matter. So we're at the abortion mill. Make sure your people over speak, over talk, because you can do that, right? Just over talk the abolitionist handing out the pamphlets. So these pamphlets talking about like whatever, you, you try not to let people look at them because if people look at them, they will actually think about it. Right? And they'll think about how abortion's wrong. And it should we shouldn't kill our own children. They'll, they'll think about stuff like that. So stop them. Right? So that's that's how you stop them. The other thing you could do is say this. If you don't leave, I'm gonna call the police. You know you're trespassing. You know we own the property up to the street. Because the cops are pretty much gonna be on your side, right? Like those cops that show up are actually probably members of that church so you can lie to them like if you're out in front of the church you could say right here that's the property line right at the street right you could do that oh my vest is getting hot in here so lie to them and the cops they don't know any better they'll just back you up they go to the church anyway i mean they got officers sitting in there their 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 waivers are actually like cops and they can come up and puff up their chest and and make you go away, make these abolitionists go away. So you, you gotta do all these techniques. So any technique that works out in front of the, you know, out in front of a church is the same technique that's out in front of the abortion clinic. There's, there's absolutely no difference, right? And don't talk, because whatever you say, you, you're most likely gonna be wrong, all right? So don't talk, you know? Cause like if you say, well, I'm against abortion, then they'll say something like, oh yeah, how are you against abortion? And then your brain will melt, like right in front of your head. Like it'll just be like, right, it'll just melt, right? 
Because you're like, how am I against abortion? I'm a good guy. Like, you don't have answers, right? You, you can't respond to them. So as soon as you open up your mouth, you look dumb, right? Like if you say, oh, we support a crisis pregnancy center, eh? Well, how is that going to make abortion illegal? That's just like saying, well, I feed a homeless guy last week. You know, how does that make abortion illegal? I mean, it's good to feed a homeless guy, right? So don't fall into their trap and talk to them because you always look dumb and ignorant. I used to be the head of uh, church parking lot security, but they bumped me up to trainer now. So I'm tactical trainer Todd. I think I changed my name to protect the innocent. But there are no innocent, right? We're all guilty. The best we can do is try to keep other people knowing that they're guilty, right?